Hello everybody and welcome back to FX Street. My name is Akash and today we're going to be exploring why the Bitcoin price is kind of not bottomed yet. It's in the process of bottoming but it's not bottomed yet and why I feel like Bitcoin price could head as low as 15k, probably even 10k. Right, so let's discuss, right? Before we actually get into it, make sure to head on over to our YouTube channel and hit the subscribe button and if you want to stay updated to the hottest trends in crypto market and the content that we post almost on a regular basis, make sure to also click on this bell icon. Right, uh, you can give us a follow on Twitter at FXS Crypto and if you enjoy the content that I put out both on my Twitter or on my YouTube channel, make sure to give me a follow as well at Mangiko with the zero at the end. Right, so uh, let's start with Bitcoin. Right, uh, if you haven't watched the previous video where I kind of explore top three indicators that signal that the bottom is near, please make sure to go ahead and check it out. Uh, in that video, I kind of, as the name suggests, right, I'm explaining, I'm kind of taking a look at indicators that have historically predicted the Bitcoin bottom and see if they are actually where they are, right? And if Bitcoin price is bottoming and turns out, yes, they are. Uh, three indicators that I looked at uh, are indicating that Bitcoin price is in the process of bottoming, but it hasn't bottomed yet, right? Bottoming is not just one day, uh, the narrative flips and the prices start rallying, right? It's uh, it's a process that takes place uh, over, over period and then the price eventually turns, right? So, the first discussion is uh, the 200 weekly moving average and how the price is like, oh, let me just quickly show you, right? Back in 2014 and 2012, Bitcoin price deviated 14% below the 200 weekly moving average and 2015, it deviated 30%, right? And then we have the 2020 market crash of uh, the COVID market crash for Bitcoin price approximately crashed 29% below the 200 week moving average. And then so far we've only dropped 22 percent now i'm saying i'm not saying it should go down to 30 percent but there is a chance it could go down to 30 percent or it could go down further lower than 30 percent right so this is my first like the, the base of my thesis right uh let's get into uh institutions right and how institutions kind of foraying into the crypto market has historically turned as the top signal right you might have you might have watched you might have been on crypto twitter where you see a, a popular a celebrity or a popular figure just uh get into crypto and you see a lot of people uh, tweeting saying that okay this is the this is the top signal sell everything right so similarly you have institutions kind of serving as top signal right so let's take a look at the first top signal that we ever received which was on december 18th 2017 now this was amazing uh because of the way bitcoin price reacted right on december 1 cme futures announced right december 1 cme futures announced that it is going to launch self certificate self certifies bitcoin futures right it launched bitcoin futures basically on december 18 but the announcement was in december 1 right? and as you can see here on december 18th is when bitcoin price actually topped it was 2017 actually 17 december but 2018 is when it launched and since then the price has price dropped uh triggered a bear rally and price dropped all the way down to three thousand dollars right uh this was the first event that kind of predicted the top and then we had a mini rally up to 13k yep and then in 13k what happened was the price consolidated for quite a bit many expected the price to kind of go up because of the back launch but September 25th is when back launch and then the price crashed the next day, roughly 19, 20%, right? 23% crash in the th kind of three days surrounding uh, the back launch, right? That was the, the second notable event which marked the cycle top, right? And then now what we have is really interesting, right? We have rumors that pro shares is launching their short bitcoin etf on june 21 which is as you can see here tomorrow so what's going to happen then if this trend continues we could drop quite a bit it could be very similar to what happened in 2019 where the price consolidated or bracketed for quite some time and then dropped 20 percent right assuming we kind of do something similar you can expect a 20 percent drop from where it is right now would put Bitcoin at 16K. 
a little above the 13k level that I'm looking at but 15k also seems like a good psychological level so let me just mark it out right so yeah um that's that's my like first or the second thesis second argument which kind of makes me feel like it is not the bottom yet right let's go to the third signal right and the reason right the, the, the process is launching sh launching short bitcoin etf and you can see that the institutions uh bitcoin purpose in purpose etf my bad basically offloaded 24,500 BTC during the, the recent weekend, right? And uh, now this could be a sell or it could be liquidation. But right? either way, institutions are getting out or getting liquidated, right? So it kind of adds credence to the, the short ETF launch and then the crash that's happening as a result or that we're expecting to happen as a result, right? and yeah so basically these are the three kind of things i'm looking at why i kind of feel like it is not the bottom yet although we are in the process of bottoming bitcoin price could head all the way down to 11k now why 11k if you ask me this is the chart i want to show you if you haven't watched the videos that i did basically five days ago and six days ago please make sure to go and watch it because these are the two videos where i explain in detail what it means right so let me just quickly give you a brief outlook on what's happening. Uh, I've marked the, the volume profiles for 2021, 2020, and then 2022, right? And as you can see here, so far, there is a massive, massive gap here extending from 29,500 to 11,900. Uh, this is what I've termed as the void. Basically, there's no volume present here. So eventually the price gets sucked into it, right? And after Bitcoin kind of broke out of this, I think it was during this consolidation that I kind of uh, posted this chart. And since then the price has, after it broke the 29,500 uh, level here, as you can see here, the, the, the downswing kind of exasperated. Now this could be technical reasons or it could be fundamental reasons. Either way, the price did exacerbate, like kind of crash violently after breaking down the, the upper limit of the void. Right, so now that we've kind of reached this uh, high volume node, relatively high volume node, the price broke that as well, and it has reached the 19,257 high volume node here, which kind of coincides with the 2017 all time high. So the price dipped way below that level, but it has recovered above it. So, which is one kind of good sign, but we still have the 200 weekly moving average to overcome. In the case that we don't over the next week or two, I think there is a good chance price could crash lower. And it could it could come sooner than expected, as I mentioned here, due to the launch of the ProShares uh, short ETF. And it could mark another bearish, like all of the signals that I just posted or that, that I just showed here, were happened at the at the peak. Basically, the 2017 was at the peak, and the the back launch was also at the peak of this mini rally, rally that we saw. So this one is going to be different than the ones that we've seen here, but it could potentially trigger a crash down to 15k, 13k. Right, but why 10k? As I mentioned here, it is basically because of the lower limit of this void, which extends down to 11.9k. So yeah, that pretty much sums up my uh, take on Bitcoin bottom, uh, not just from a fundamental perspective. I mean, it is basically from a fundamental perspective and kind of uh, extrapol extrapolating things that have happened in the past. So if you enjoyed this, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs>